Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender of Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-monthly, mid-month of April general love reading, okay? Keep in mind these are general readings. They cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you would like a personal reading, the link will always be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. For all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for a reading. I also always charge both decks on top of your own personalized astrological card. So again, this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. Currently, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks. So if I get any reversals, I'm going to accept them because I know they're aligned with the messages that I'm meant to give you guys, okay? I'm laughing because what's at the bottom of the deck, okay? You have the Four of Wands. That's that marriage card. That's the Twin Flame card. That's the Life Partnership and Companion card. I'm laughing because the song that I got for you guys when I was meditating over your energy is Cupid by 112. I always leave the links to the songs in the description box below so you can listen to it following your reading because I know it's aligned with the messages for you guys. I'm going to tell you what I picked up initially. Literally, somebody is so fearful of taking something to the next level. And I feel like I picked this energy up a lot for you guys, Capricorns, in the past readings that I've done for you guys. Um, somebody's fearful of moving forward because they were dealing with a, a heartbreak. There's it's, it's still an energy of a lingering heartbreak from the past, right? And it's leaving someone feeling stuck from moving forward, right? But I feel like another person is just like, I don't care what happened in your past. I am I want to move forward with you. And this is very evident, especially at the bottom of the deck, right? Somebody wants marriage. And I feel like both parties do, but somebody is still so hurt from something that happened in the past. And I'm going to tell you, the part that stuck out was, I think it was like in the bridge of the song where he was saying, I'd rather die. I'd rather die before I lie to you. Somebody's trying to confirm or give somebody some type of ease. Somebody's trying to ease a person's mind and let them know, I wouldn't do you the way this other person did, right? That's the message that I'm getting for you guys, okay? So you already seen what was at the bottom of the deck. This is our marriage card, our life partner. This is long term, okay? We're going to part it randomly so that we could get additional messages. Look at that. Wish fulfillment. So, you know, the wish card is, like again, wish card. The star card is about wish fulfillment and healing, right? This is Major Arcana. And this is something that's happening, and it needs to happen moving forward. If you aren't already, you or this other person is not already in the energy of healing, you're needing to heal in order for you to move forward. Or this person is, I'm picking up like this person may even be praying. You or this person may be praying that this person heals so that you guys can move forward. That's what I'm picking up. So let's part the deck randomly. Mm -hmm. Somebody's needing a strength. Cause you, okay, already you got two major arcanas. These are powerful cards. The four of wands is not a major arcana, but it definitely has a major arcana feel. And then you got two major arcana, right? Somebody needs to heal in order for them to move forward. And I know that to be a fact because look at the strength card. This lion has a chain around his neck and he is being drugged or guided to move forward. Somebody needs to heal. You know, somebody needs to heal. So we have, I'm going to just call it the energies, um, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You can have these placements or you could be dealing with someone who has these placements. doesn't have to be. I'm just putting it out there because I know a lot of people like to hear the signs. We're going to get two cards. One is going to be a general energy, and the second is going to be a possible outcome. And then we'll do a clarifier for both. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now what I'm picking up is that, like I said, somebody needs to heal. Somebody needs to heal. And I just seen the King of Swords in reverse. Again, I said Aquarius earlier with the star card. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with Aquarius. This person wants love, but they're so fearful. They were hurt before. Really bad. Okay. Look at this. And you had a king of wands. Um, Very passionate. You know, this is a very passionate energy. So you and this person, you and this love interest, you guys are passionate about each other. And if you're single, you have a fire sign. Possibly a fire sign is coming in. And I just said Leo earlier with the strength card. But you can also be dealing with uh, Aries or a um, Sag coming in for you if you're single. 
let's get a general energy for our Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. Yeah, somebody. Ooh, somebody was hurt. I could feel it. Somebody is going through something heavy and they're fearful of moving forward. But you know what? What did I say? Ten of Wands. And I said fearful of moving forward. And what is he doing moving forward? Now, the positive thing about this is even with all of this on this person's back, this person is determined to keep moving. And that's positive because we also seen that strength card. And even though the, the, the lion looked reluctant, he was still moving forward, right? But somebody was, you know, this is heavy. And I said that earlier, very, very heavy. But again, look at the positive part of it. This person, even as heavy as this load is, this person's still standing upright. And this person's still moving forward. They're not turning backwards. This person's moving forward. So if you have strong fire sign placements in your chart, and, um, you know, keep moving. Keep moving. Because there's, there's love on the other side of this, whatever this heaviness was. And if this other person... This person that you're in love with has some strong fire sign placements. Keep showing them love because they need to see that. They're, they're healing and you could be a part of their healing. Most definitely. With the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. You know, this is for a lot of you guys. Wow. For a lot of you guys, this could be new love. Now, did I say earlier, you seen how I'm shuffling. This was flipped up and I didn't even notice it, right? Meant for us to take this card. You had a five of swords. A lot of you guys could definitely be dealing with an air sign. Specifically Aquarius. A lot of you guys could be dealing with air sign. So you have the 10 of wands and then you have the five of swords. That's heavy conflict. And if you look at the cards, they're facing the same direction. This is the same person's energy. This person really came out of something that made them feel defeated. You have one person on their knees right here. You have one person laying down, literally looking like they're dead. This person went through something heavy and they're needing you to be patient with them. And I said earlier, when we seen that star card, healing is needed. But I'm going to tell you, whoever this person is, they're strong, they're tenacious, and they don't give up easily. And, they, and they're going to fight for that healing because they want something. You know, they want something stable and long-lasting in love. You have the moon card. Things that are hidden, things that are known, things that are seen, unseen, the intuition, um, the emotions, right? This person has deep emotions. And I'm going to tell you, for a lot of you guys, most definitely this person is possibly hiding how deeply they feel. In regards to this past hurt, you may know a little bit about it, but they're definitely hiding some things, right? As we part the deck so that we can shuffle, look at that again. In the other deck, you have the Page of Cups, you have the Knight of Cups now. You're Like I said, you're needing to be compassionate with this person. Or this person is needing to be compassionate with you. You would know how that applies. But I feel like, Capricorns, I feel like for you guys, you're needing to be compassionate with this person and have some patience. I wouldn't be surprised if the Temperance card popped out. You need to have patience because this person, like, look at the first two energies alone. You know, this is heavy. This person may have just gotten out of something. I feel like, yeah. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the cards, like I said, this person is moving forward. And their their back is facing this five of swords. They're walking away from this difficulty. And, and this, the fact that they're carrying these wands is the burden from this past situation. But nonetheless, like I said, this person's tenacious. They're still moving forward. You just need to have patience with them. Because there's a, there's a great deal of love here between you and this person. Patience is just required. Whatever the case, patience is required. Look at that. You have the Queen of Cups and then you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And if you see the Queen of Cups back, back is facing the Wheel of Fortune, right? It's because somebody may be blocked. This person may be blocking their blessings in love because this is a queen. This is your energy, I feel like. Or you can also be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or you got these placements in your chart. Somebody may be blocking their blessings, you know, with fear-based thoughts. That's what I'm picking up. So let's get a clarifier for the Ten of Wands. Now, I know this may seem like a heavy in, uh, reading, but don't take it like that. J this is just giving you a heads up, right, moving forward. And I said again. More air sign energy. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. More so than anything, I'm telling you, Aquarius, right? You have the 
King of Swords, clarifying the Ten of Wands. That's just confirming to us that this is the other person. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so then you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Ooh, Three of Swords in reverse. Two. Oh, my God. Okay, so you have the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. You guys are definitely <laughs> dealing with an air sign. And it all came right up under this. These cards were shuffled very well. Very well. Look at it. Every single one of them are in reverse. Aww. You guys are dealing with somebody who's hurt. Wow. And this is just confirmation also, like I said, that you guys, a lot of you guys are dealing with an air sign because you had a ten of swords and clarifying it is the king of swords. And you see this king has his sword up like he's defensive because he's been through so much, so much heaviness. You, you know, you got the five, the three, the two, the king. You guys are definitely dealing with an air sign. Wow. And then you have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this is you guys' energy. I feel like a lot of you guys may feel like just falling back and, and deciding not to even extend your offer of love or to continue to express how you feel about them because you're like, this is heavy. Because this is heavy, but I feel like you all will find out that it's worth it. Okay, so you got the Sun card in reverse. Now, even in reverse, the sun card is the most positive card in the whole deck of tarot. I feel like this is coming in reverse because, like I said, a lot of you guys feel like this is too heavy for you to push through. You feel like you can't penetrate this person's shield. I want you to pay attention, right? This person has the sword right here and this up in the air. And then this person has a sword in the air right here. Both air sign. It's like you feel like this person is too just defensive. You know, because your general energy is a 10 of wands. Somebody's definitely carrying, carrying a heavy load. And this is a person with a very strong air sign energy in their chart. This person is defensive and they're ready at any time to put the guards up. But I, I'm going to tell you right now, this person isn't walking away from you. Most definitely they're not. Mm -mm. They're not going to walk away from you. In fact, I feel like this person wants you to fight for them. Right? Possible outcome is the five of swords clarified by the sun card in reverse. Now I'm going to tell you again, this is still the most positive card in the whole deck of tarot, but I feel like it's in reverse because this person is not letting you in easily. You know, the sun card of right is like, look at this, this happy little baby and his horse, they riding into the sunset. This person is like leery in reverse. This person is leery. This person isn't very open because the sun card upright is very open. It's bright. It's cheerful. It's joy. This person is leery. And that's why it's in reverse. And even in reverse, it's still positive. It's just slow moving, right? Because this person is, is doubtful. You know, keep in mind, there are 78 cards in this whole deck of tarot. So even though it came out in reverse, it doesn't matter. The sun card still came out, which means there's a pos there's an opportunity for a positive future with this person. You just have to penetrate this force field. Look at this. That's that's heavy. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna play with you. You know, I'm not gonna BS you about it. It's heavy. Nonetheless, I want you to pay attention. Like I said, you see how the sun card came out? And even though it's in reverse, look in the background. You see how that sun is coming out? Even after all of this stuff that this person has went through, the sun is still coming out. You know what I mean? The sun is still peeking his head out and is letting us know that there's a brighter day. And you may have to tell this person that. Now, I'm not telling you, oh, if this person is verbally aggressive and nasty, which they could be with this king of swords, this person can get nasty, right? If this person is being verbally abusive, physically, whatever, I'm not telling you to hang, just hang in there because the sun is going to go up, right? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is what I'm picking up from this specific reading for these specific people that resonate with this, this person is just fearful of moving forward because they've been through so much. They have been through so much. You really need to listen to the song Cupid. Listen to the lyrics of the song. It's Like I said, it will be in a link in the description box below. Listen to it. Because this person, this person wants love. They want true love. They're just scared because they've been hurt so bad before. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who can put their all into a situation. And when I say all, I mean all. Money, feelings, emotions, physical. They give everything. And they've given everything to someone in the past who really just broke them down. Broke them down. Horribly. So, yeah. That's what I'm picking up for you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys could definitely be dealing with Gemini too. Because I'm looking at you got one, two people here. In the background, you got two, what is that, elk or whatever that is. 
And then in the background right here, you got two birds. And I'm saying Gemini because, you know, again, this is air sign energy. So it could be Aquarius and strong Gemini. Gemini and Aquarius energy, most definitely. Okay, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.